The son of a Sainsbury's worker diagnosed with Alzheimer's five years ago has revealed in an uplifting post on social media how the supermarket giant fought to keep her job open and handled her condition with compassion, class and dignity. Doran Salomon, who works for a football agency, has seen his emotional thread praising Sainsbury's go viral after he detailed the length staff at the store. In Harrow, North London, went to, to keep his mother, who he doesn't want to name, employed in a job she loves. Doran says the supermarket has helped to normalize his mother's life over the last few years as her illness has deteriorated. Giving her self-worth when she was quite literally losing everything she once was the supermarket chain told Mail Online. Their former employee had been an inspiration. The tweets posted over the weekend tell the story of how the 61-year-old, who was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in her early 50s, has now served her last day working in the store after five years of employment, where she started shortly before her diagnosis after being forced to give up her career as a bookkeeper as the illness took hold. Doran's mother applied for and got a job picking in store for online deliveries in 2012. When the store was made aware of an official diagnosis less than a year later, Doran reveals his family expected his mother to be told she couldn't be employed. However, he explains that Sainsbury's instead did everything they could to ensure she stayed working at the store. He writes that the company offered regular retraining, changed her hours, had regular welfare meetings with her and my dad ensured her colleagues were aware of her condition so they were able to help her. Doran adds that they even created a role that didn't exist so that there was something in store she could do despite the fact her job title has never changed from picker. Before his mother finally left the store last week, she was given the task of cleaning tote boxes, something which became the most important job in the world to her. Her condition has deteriorated to such an extent in the last year that she would arrive for work often confused. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive, degenerative disease of the brain in which buildup of abnormal proteins causes nerve cells to die. This disrupts the transmitters that carry messages and causes the brain to shrink. More than 5 million people suffer from the disease in the U.S., where it is the sixth leading cause of death. What happens as brain cells die? The functions they provide are lost. That includes memory, orientation and the ability to think and reason. The progress of the disease is slow and gradual. On average, patients lie 5 to 7 years after diagnosis, but some may live for 10 to 15 years. Early symptoms, loss of short-term memory, disorientation, behavioral changes, mood swings, difficulties dealing with money, or making a phone call later symptoms, severe memory loss, forgetting close family members, familiar objects or places becoming anxious and frustrated over inability to make sense of the world. Leading to aggressive behavior eventually lose ability to walk may have problems eating the majority will eventually need. 24-hour care source Alzheimer's Association Doran told Mail Online, I think Sainsbury's normalized her life. They served as a reminder of her self-worth every day at a time when she was quite literally losing everything she once was. They were more than just an employer but supported her like a family. They made her struggle lighter and brighter, a spokesperson for Sainsbury's told Mail Online. Doran's mum was a much-loved colleague and an inspiration to all of us. We'd like to thank her for her years of service and wish her all the best for the future, Doran revealed that he shared his mother's story on Twitter in the hope that it will raise awareness and persuade people to donate to fight the disease. After reading the thread, many applauded Sainsbury's for the store's actions. One, at Shemazapan, wrote, This was incredible to read and an absolute example of how an employer should treat their staff as people. Not just as a commodity, at Nick Park and 51 added, How wonderful to hear of such kindness and pragmatism. There's something really uplifting hearing about a big corporation behaving with such humanity and insight. At 48 Mojitos penned, there are good people, good employers and supportive families out there. It's easy to forget amidst the relentless bad news. Tell me where the freaks at.